the virtual boy who gives a fudge because i know yeah i really don't care about the virtual boy but this is actually really cool so the virtual boy quick history lesson the virtual boy was a stereoscopic 3d handheld system that nintendo made um it flopped and nobody gave a fudge about it however there has been recently a new virtual boy emulator for the 3ds which actually makes sense because you know the whole stereo scopic 3d thing there was an emulator beforehand but that ran like trash and this one actually runs a lot better so we're gonna actually get into that process right now you want to go ahead and go into the link in the description down below to this github page and if you have custom firmware just go ahead and download the cia and if you're weird and only have the homebrew launcher get the 3ds x version uh now you want to go into fbi and go to your sd and wherever you put the cia just go ahead and install that it should take no more than like 10 seconds now what you're going to want to do is go ahead and create a folder on your 3ds's sd card just to make it easier titled virtual boy roms or just vb or just something with virtual boy in it and put those roms in there now i can't tell you where to get these roms of course now what you could do is you could legally obtain these games through ebay Jesus Christ. Anyways, let's go over to the 3DS. Okay, now you're going to want to go ahead and just load it up like normal. And you want to go ahead and open your ROM. Find where you have your ROMs located. And there you go. We are now playing Mario Tennis. Because, I don't know. I recommend you actually play Wario. Um, Wario, VB Wario Land. It actually runs relatively okay. It's, it's not that bad of an emulator for the, um, for Virtual Boy. It's amazing that somebody took the time recently to make the virtual boy emulator for 3ds but it is really cool and check this out the 3d slider does actually work so that's actually just a, a really cool bonus i feel so you can actually pretty much get a, a virtual boy experience and if you go into the settings um there's different things for like wh which eye is 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 the 2d part and whatnot and there's there's a lot of depth to the settings to an extent so i recommend you check that out anyway. that'll pretty much do it for the virtual boy um, this is pretty much, in my opinion, the best way to play Virtual Boy games because it, it, it's on an official Nintendo handheld system that was stereoscopic 3D, and it just makes it just makes a whole lot of sense. It makes a lot of sense, and I don't know why Nintendo didn't do that with like the Ambassador program. But um, yeah, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I do appreciate it, and as always, stay stacking, y'all. I'm just gonna restart it. <laughs> So what you're going to want to go ahead and do is go to the link in the description to this GitHub page, download the latest release. If you have the uh, custom, oh, God, ah! only have the homebrew launcher, get the 3DS X version, or maybe just like using the homebrew launcher. Anyways, now what you could do is you could legally obtain one of these games like Jack Brothers, you can know the price on eBay, and, or no, I came and go cut that part, I'm going to redo that. <laughs> now what you, now what you, oh, God! should take no more than like 10 seconds and if it takes more than 10 seconds then you're just not good <coughs> god i sound so stupid i feel like i feel like i'm gonna freaking effort into this uh mango fudge you um i gave you a freaking video now leave me the fudge alone